welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Mayana Taylor and I'm coming back with a how to take bomb pictures at home by yourself. I will be covering six important points such as clothing, lighting, equipment, poses, location, and prop. If you are interested, please continue watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I'll be talking about is clothing. If you're not feeling your outfit, then the picture is not gonna be as good as it can. The outfit is one of the most important things of the picture. It can make or break the picture. You could wear classy clothes, comfy clothes, a bathrobe, a towel. You could wear anything you want, but it also has to be in the right area too. So the clothing has to do with where in the house or where you're taking the picture at, what location. But you wanna be careful of where you take your pictures and what type of outfit you want it to look right so the next thing is lighting lighting is also a very important thing when it comes to taking pictures and that's either out somewhere or here in the house so for me when I'm taking pictures at home I try to use sunlight but sometimes I do not because in my room it doesn't have very good sunlight because my dad put tint on my window because it gets so hot in my room during the summer so not much of the sun could come in my room just to keep the room cool so therefore I use a ring light and I'll be inserting a picture of what the ring light looks like and I will be listing the ring light down below where I got it from sunlight is the number one best lighting and if you want to use your ring light you most definitely can just make sure that the ring light is not directly on your face it will definitely wash you out and it won't look natural. So those are the two sources of light that you can use, your ring light or the sun. And before I had a ring light, I would use lamps. So if you do not have a ring light or good sun, you can definitely use a lamp, but I would make sure it has an LED bulb in it and not a yellow light. Yellow lights are not cute when taking pictures. I prefer LED lights. The third thing is equipment. So when you're taking pictures at home, you do not necessarily need the high tech tripod and the ring light and the clickers you definitely don't need that but that is what I recommend I have a Manfrotto tripod I'm probably definitely saying that wrong <laughs> And it comes with an adapter, obviously, to use for my camera and also for my iPhone. I got my tripod from Best Buy. It was quite pricey, and I think it was $60. I'm not quite sure. I will be listing the link below. But it is definitely worth it. It is definitely durable and not flimsy at all. So this tripod will last me a quite a long time. And my ring light, which I've already mentioned. And then I also have a Bluetooth clicker. And I got that off of Amazon as well. And my Bluetooth clicker, that was pretty cheap. I'm sure it's under $10. I'm not quite sure how much it was. I had that for a couple of years now. But it's definitely handy. Obviously, when you're taking the pictures, you don't want to show the clicker. So it is a very nice size. It's very easy to hide or if you do not have the clicker nor the tripod or the ring light We talked about how we can use our natural lighting or our lamp instead of the tripod You could use a couple of books stack them up You could use really anything that is sturdy that will hold your camera or your phone So instead of using a Bluetooth clicker you actually can go to your camera There should be a little icon that looks like a little timer so you click on that just below your picture and there's an option for three seconds and two seconds. And at home, I actually use my iPhone to take my pictures. I really don't care to use my camera to take my pictures because right now it's cracked and it's not very easy to see the pictures very well. But I do have the Canon G7X and I will be listing that down below. I got it from Best Buy and that's what I'm actually recording on right now. But like I said, when I take my pictures at home, I just use my iPhone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Mac, and I use the back camera at least I try it is kind of hard sometimes to use the back camera and not be able to see what you're doing but I prefer the back camera it's very much clear and crisp vices 
taking it with the front camera and taking home pictures you do not need a camera at all I'd actually recommend using your iPhone the next thing is poses I feel like at home you're limited on poses in my opinion because at home it's really a comfy area unless you have a nice just classy fancy house which I do not so I just take comfy pictures I might wear comfy clothes the poses that I'm doing are very comfy I take pictures on floor like on my knees I've taken stand-up pictures just like leaning against the wall I've taken quite a couple of pictures like that it is very easy and you can just sometimes and, and at your you 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 could you do when you're taking pictures at home you don't have to do a full body picture you can just do waist and up I've done that as well where I just lean against the wall and just show my shirt and up that is definitely an easy thing to do and the poses also can make and break the picture as well I would say all six of these topics I'll be covering today will make or break the picture especially when you're at home you have less to work with so you have to be very careful on what goes with what and what looks right so yeah I've actually taken a lot of pictures sitting on the floor it's very cute and easy I'm not very very good with poses but I'll make it work you can also go on Instagram which I do a lot I'm not even gonna lie I go on Instagram I scroll down I see Instagram models and I just save their picture I go right ahead and save their picture and keep it in a folder on Instagram I'm sure you guys know what that is I just save it in there or you can screenshot it and just keep it for memory so the next time you take a picture you can just go back look through your ideas that you have saved and do that same pose I mean ain't nothing wrong with it everybody does it obviously I wouldn't copy off the whole picture of what they're doing but you can definitely take the pose idea and absolutely do it so the fifth thing is location the location is important as well you could either have like a plain wall behind you so it can also look right with your clothing so say I took this picture on a gray wall and I wore a white shirt on top of it me wearing that white shirt on the gray wall made me pop more and it was very cute there's tons of areas in the house where you can take your pictures you can take them on your bed, in front of the windows, in front of your door, in front of a plain colored wall, on the couch, in the kitchen, in your backyard, which I've done several times, which is great lighting. And also, I went outside in the street on the curb and took a picture. There's just tons of places you can take them. And if you don't want to take them in the house, definitely outside. Or you can take it in your car. You can either go to an empty parking lot and like take one hanging out your car. Or you can just leave it right Right there in the driveway open the door you can take cute pictures like that I can see how people think that they're limited on taking pictures at home but if you know how to work areas in your house and if you're really dedicated and you're driven then you can definitely make some pictures work in your house and also when finding areas in the house for you to take your picture at you want to pay attention to the tones and the colors say you have a white shirt you do not want to be on a white wall I just wouldn't do that the, your shirt could be a different white than the wall you would pop I would wear black against a white wall that would definitely make your picture pop so when somebody's scrolling down your timeline they see a white wall or a white background and then there's you in the center of the picture in a black or a color outfit I think anything pops behind a white background if you follow me on my Instagram there are several pictures where I am against a white wall and if you do not have a white wall you can definitely use a sheet I have done that several times before I repainted my room my walls were pink so I put up a white sheet people have actually been doing that a lot lately I've been seeing on Instagram so that would work too if all fails so the sixth thing the last thing is prop prop are definitely aesthetically pleasing when you're scrolling down your timeline so props definitely look good in pictures too for me I have used fake plants real plants the fake plants that I have that I used in my pictures I've gotten those from Walmart and you can just go to the nearest grocery store or the nearest pharmacy and grab you some flowers or if you have some outside go right ahead and pick those flowers and use them in your picture simple as that you can also use purses book candles a cup of coffee a mirror you can even use your dog there's so many things that you can do to spice up your picture and to make it more eye appealing on Instagram and I know this is not a prop but I've definitely seen girls that put on a facial mask and have like a cup of coffee or just a mug it doesn't even have to have coffee in it it could be empty and just sip on it with the face mask that would be cute that's a good idea as well so don't feel like you're limited there's definitely things you can work with to spice up your pictures when you're taking them at home so now I'll be showing you guys how I take my pictures at home
all right guys so right here you can clearly see my ghetto setup <laughs> and i just laid a sheet down on the floor i have my phone propped up on some books and my ring light hanging off my bed right here you can see me taking my pictures with my bluetooth clicker and just trying to hide it the best way i can Then I had to use my ring light because my pictures were not bright enough for me. All right guys, so these are the final results of the pictures that I took. They're uploaded to my Instagram. Please feel free to go follow my Instagram at mayana.taylor. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if any of these tips were helpful for you. And please stay tuned for my next video. Bye.